Captains, I wanted to do a quick video for you guys on my new first Avenger style costume. I really appreciate the interest you showed in my last post, so I thought I'd talk about some of the details of my costume in this video. And like I said in my post, the majority of this costume came from white sheep leather. Uh, they did the top, the pants, the tops of the boots, the double buckle tops on those boots, the gloves, and the gauntlets. Um, white sheep leather was great to work with through the entire process and more importantly they were really easy to communicate with because I had a lot of specific things that I wanted to see in this costume and they accommodated me at every turn. I could send them messages, give them feedback, they would send me pictures of their progress and it was just really easy to work with them through the entire process. So thanks a lot white sheep leather, you did a great job. Now when I actually got the suit I wanted to do a little bit more customization on it, put my own touch on it, specifically with the weathering on the costume. And I was a little nervous about that because I've never done weathering on any sort of costume before. And this Cordura uh, material that White Sheep Leather made the suit out of, I had never worked with before. So I wasn't really sure how to handle it, but watched a few tutorials on YouTube and talked to some other people online about how they did the weathering on their suits. And I picked up some tips along the way that I hope might be helpful to some of you. So one of the first things I learned when it came to the weathering process on this costume was the type of paint that you want to use. And it turns out the best type of paint to use on this kind of material is an acrylic paint. So I went down to Target and picked up several colors of a cheap acrylic paint. I've got a white, a blue, a brown, a dark black. And then I also picked up this charcoal, which is a medium to dark gray with a little hint of blue in it. And that came in really handy when it came to this ab section, which is gonna be the most visible part of the weathering uh, because it is that bright white and it's going to show the most definition. So when you're starting out with this acrylic paint in the weathering process, what you also wanna do is water this paint down. Go ahead and put some of the paint in a bowl, mix it with water, and then soak a rag in that watered down paint and you can gently apply that to these accent pieces on the costume. And watering it down allows you to slowly build up this color as you go along, and you can always darken it as the process goes on. Um, but you take your rag, and you're gonna wanna apply the hardest, the darkest lines right around the edges of these accent pieces. That's gonna have the heaviest shadow and the most definition is right around the edge. And it then just sort of blends in to this highlight right into that center section. So when it came to the ab section, I did all of these little accent pieces right around the edge and then just sort of blended in and kept that nice white highlight right in the center. And if you get it a little too dark, you can always apply just a little bit of watered down white paint to bring that highlight back out. So when I finished up with the ab section, I then turned to the blue parts of the costume. This was a little bit more difficult because these edges of these accents, that charcoal just did not show up like it did on the white section of the costume. So I had to go with a little bit darker black. Again, water down that dark black paint so that you can slowly build it up. And I started out on the edges of these and I went ahead and put a lot of dark paint uh, all over the blue accent pieces of this costume. And then I sat back and I looked at it and I thought, these highlights right in the center of these really need to be brought out a little bit more. So I took this light blue and I started blending it in. As it turned out, this light blue just really didn't show up against this darker blue on the costume. So I figured I'd try the white. Uh, I was a little nervous about applying a white paint to these blue sections, but again, when you water down the paint, when you soften it up, you can build up the white as much as you need. And as it turned out, that was the perfect solution because it brings out the blue, it lightens it up just enough to make it look like a highlight, but doesn't apply any sort of white, white paint right onto these blue sections. And I did that in several areas of the costume, in the chest and right below the star, on the pants, uh, on the thighs and on the knees, have those white highlights uh, right around those accent pieces on the legs and those really brought out the color in the blue uh, 
sections of the costume. Now the harness was a little bit easier because I was able to take the brown, the charcoal, and the black at various points and just apply those to the edges of the harness and then rub that black into these red areas as well. And those, those pop very nicely and they, they look worn and battle ready and, and lived in. And that's kind of the look you're going for in this costume. And just to give you a better look at the weathering on these white sections, you can see the detail of the shadowing right around the edges of these accent pieces faded in to these white highlights right in the center. So that is my Captain America, the first Avenger style costume from White Sheep Leather. It is my first Captain America costume and the first time I've put this much customization into a costume. Like I said, I was really nervous about doing the weathering process in the beginning, uh, something I had never done before, but really the key is to take your time, use that watered down paint and build it up slowly as you go. Uh, and I'm really happy with the way this turned out.